So that's the flange ducts. Can I see that? Sure. Thank you. It's nice, isn't it? It is very nice. Oh, that, cool. that is cool, isn't it? Very, very little and flashing. That's the 10% uh, yeah. tin in, in copper mix. Yeah. yeah. Um, when um, Once we get some files and bits and pieces on that, that will come up like gold. Doing a good job. Thank you. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. That actually is really good. It needs a bit of decoration yet. Just refining it. So when you stretch it, it stretches and it opens up. Mm. But if you move it right, what you find is you can move it in such a fashion that you really dip that knife down and close the sand. Like that. This is the one like uh, the ice man used. No, he didn't have a flange axe. He just had a little copper um, flat axe. Flat axe. Yeah. There is a little. Um, there is a little template of that axe over there, so if you wanted to go down that route you could. Now when you press it in, you want to press it in so it's gone in halfway, trying to be even about your work. Yeah. Drop that over. And then Do that up. And begin to load up again. When you load up, because you're going on top of there, you might as well just break any particles down because this comes out of the bag in a compressed fashion. And we load that up again. So you could ask a simple question like, could they have done this in the Stone Age? Yes. How? So, you've got a man who's grinding axes um, out of flint, and when he's doing that he's making very fine particle sand, and um, at the same time you've got deer being butchered every day with insurmountable amount of amounts of fat which you can render down into tallow so you can take the sand from the um, axe polishing and um, mix it with tallow and you've got exactly the system pretty much. Wow! Whether they did it or not is an entirely new question. All the ingredients were there but we don't know we don't have any evidence directly. We just don't have the evidence. But you know when the first sandcastle was made, right? I don't know. Well, it would be at that same time as the first castle was made, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because other, before that, what did you have before the first sandcastle? Uh, I guess a sand mound. A sand yeah, a sand burial mound. Right. Now, what we are going to do now, is we're going to start teaching this thing that sand can fit in here that technically doesn't belong in here by hammering it. Which you're all going to love doing because it's all about compaction. Turn the knife over, you've got a flat back. Bump. Close it. Move your, move your sand out of the way, give it a little bit of a shuffle. Turn it over. Go again. Keep turning it over as you're compact it, compacting it, otherwise you'll be driving your axe through. Oh, you can also put your hand here uh -huh. over the pouring cup. Oh, to keep it from pushing out. Yeah. Oh, that just the best yeah, it goes. Right hmm. Yeah. Just gases off. No, I think the wall's got some dental tools. There'll be a swipe in there. 
think. Alright. Yeah. <coughs> so what we have is we have a sandbox. Good to go. Right. All we need to do is have that ready. So we'll have that set up behind there. And when um, we get some bronze which is ready, we're good to go. That's where the hole is going to be for the shaft. And there's the axe head with the three lines. Relatively smoothed over with a, a hole for it to be bound on with. Yeah, that should cast up pretty nice. And then there's the pouring cup that it's currently mounted onto. Next step is to paint it with slurry. There we go. And you're painting slurry onto the brooch. I'm, thin, a, thin. Made pun I'm a, a made punter, a mud painter. It's going to be really exciting to see how that casts. Yeah. Slash. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Oh, I know that. I know that was that. the... That's not going to be good. Uh, if you wash it, the yeah, end off in water, that should just be fine. Yeah. You don't want a gap underneath it. Uh, how can I... Let's see, what if I... Uh, be careful, you snap to... it. Yeah, don't get two chances. Do you think uh, if um, I just... What I would do is I'd get some... Put a little more... Yeah. A little more clay in it to build that up. Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Like you say, experimental. There's no dragon poop. <laughs> What but if you notice, like, it didn't catch a light. No, it didn't. It just no. melted. Yeah. And that was made from well, it's all clay. The, it's the silicon and it's just yeah. glass, doesn't it? Yeah. So this, it was fine when we when you transferred it from this one. Yeah. But that one wasn't getting quite hot enough to melt the bronze. But we would have melt with it if that clay, if that charcoal would have been different. Will didn't put it in the centre there. It was lean to and then shot. it was actually the propane burner that burnt through it, yeah. and then the crucible oh, failed. Yeah. It just, it just. It's still, it's still incredible to me that that crucible went into the fire wet. Yeah. Mm. Right after the cob was yeah, mixed together. It didn't, wasn't that that <laughs> killed it. it was no, and it was the, it was the propane burner that killed it. Right. You can see that this crucible didn't actually crack. It melted here in the corner. This is the part that was right in front of the propane burner before, and that's amazing. So you'll be doing this twice today. clamp from over to here and uh, tip in at about that sort of flow rate everything's fine drop that back into that environment as close to the middle as you can pop the lid back on there gently and then just turn it back on then get a little bit of water and put that boy out it doesn't burn the wood, yeah? Pardon? So it doesn't burn the wood or just... Yeah, basically, yeah, just eat the top of the So how long should that take now that we can open it? Um, we, we can open it up in about a minute. Really? Quick as that? Yeah. As soon as that goes um, sort of battleship yeah. grey, yeah. Yeah. then um, we're good. <laughs> So these pliers are not the ideal solution for picking things up, particularly when you've got a sword. Particularly as the fact you're going to be trying to open it there and if you look at the pliers. So you might as well open it up a little bit. So when it grabs hold of that, it grabs hold of it securely. You don't need to be dropping things on the floor. That looks very good. It is very good, isn't it? It's a, yeah, it's a nice cast. Just enough water in there. <laughs> I'll fill it right up in a minute. <laughs> We might as well, because what we're going to be doing is loading now. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So that's the flange ducts. Can I see that? Sure. Thank you. That's nice, isn't it? It is very nice. Simple cool. stuff. That is cool, isn't it? Very, very little and flashing. That's, that's the 10% um, yeah. tin in, in copper mix. Yeah. yeah. Um, when, um, 
once we get some files and bits and pieces on that, that'll come up like gold. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Those two together, 900 grams. Okay, cool. So you've got two, two kilos worth there. Right, Jay? Yeah, it looks like it. I say you don't have to pack it in too hard to start with. What you want to do is fill all that, fill it all up first so you've got a nice even layer of sand. Gotcha. and general first straight up just look oh, oh okay oh is that gonna just well oh is it uh -oh. connected uh, i see fragments of bronze but uh it doesn't seem to oh i think it got about that far all right let's uh, see what we get <laughs> I know, uh, it, something happened in there, right? Yeah. I just can't tell how well it worked. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. that's, uh, that's, okay, that's actually a little better than I was maybe expecting. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good. It's still just a little warm. Um, wow, okay, so it preserved a lot of the braid, it looks like. Uh, it's a bit wild, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm actually amazed at how well it preserved the braid. I thought that was going to be the really hard part. Um, no shaft at all, obviously. Well, just smash that in half and see if there's anything in there. Maybe it's just completely hollow. Yeah. So. Oh. Do you know what? <laughs> oh, my, my, you had the pin, you had oh the my goodness. Oh, well, will you look at that? If I could braise that together, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. Okay, that kind of worked. That actually did work. So you get wire brush on that. Yeah. Into place. Okay. And then just push straight down. Okay. And very, very careful with it. Now what you can do is put a piece of wood on here. So don't lift your hands straight up when you take your hands off. Okay. Lift your hands straight up now. And we'll put a piece of wood on there and bash it. It's moving forward. It's fine. It's actually moving down. That's it. That's it. Okay. That looks perfect to That's me. That's perfect. Now the cracks around the outside. If you blow it off like that, what you need to do with the cracks mm -hmm. is massage them slightly forwards so that you're, you're filling the cracks in, but you're moving any sand towards the blade like this. Try to keep your finger on the tip so that once it comes up, you want to get your, your blade and then grip the, the at that end. Sense. Then stop, reevaluate, and lift straight upwards. Don't 
don't panic, just lift it straight up. Save it. That's it, save it, it's fine. So, two V's at the bottom. That's deep enough. Yeah. That's fine. It doesn't have to be massively deep. It's just to allow the venting. And then the screw driver. That's a good idea, isn't it? Select your screws, make sure that the heads are okay. I'll leave you with a drill driver. No, that's it, yeah, cast anything you, is no good. Just cast them away. It's really funny to me how finicky Joseph has been, because I think I'm usually a lot more finicky. <laughs> but Joseph's in the same zone that I was when I was making mine. I was like, this is going to be mine. This is something that is, I'm, I'm investing my time in and I want it as right as I possibly can get and it, it just becomes so personal. I mean, I've ultra polished the blade. I didn't need to do that, but I did because I was like, that's mine. That's that sense of achievement and pride. Bear it around on the... In you go. Nice and quiet, bro. Uh, going straight. Most carbonated. Up, up, up. Nice. No grab. Clamp. Good man. Off you go. Come on, let's have some post toast in here. Keep it like, keep that as a nice flow like that. And uh, super, that's a job done. Okay. Back in there. Well done. Thank you. And then the one. Stop it. Wait, wait, Joseph, just one second. I'm curious. Do you, in fact, believe you're going to pull out a sword? Yeah, I do. Sweet. I do. Um, you know, yeah. It's Excalibur in the making. Keep your hands away from the forward button. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> no leakages. Looks very clean, too. I don't know how much flashing there is down the shaft. Something, something, whatever, the mocking, uh... It's <laughs> <laughs> like a kid on Christmas. I don't think a kid's been this excited on Christmas. <laughs> Sing O God, it says the anger of Achilles, Peleus is sad. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for teaching this class. I have learned so much about bronze casting and for me this has been the achievement of a very long project. In the summer of 2016 I attempted to cast the sword a lot of times and failed miserably. And now with some expert help we've finally gotten it to work. So that's exciting. Really grateful to Will Lord for hosting this casting workshop where we were, we were able to make these artifacts and some other ones. Um, we've left a link to Will Lord's YouTube channel in the description below and we highly encourage you to check out all of his awesome material. And uh, let's not forget guys that you two have made the journey over the Great Pond to come here to the UK to actually Worth it. come on this Worth casting it. course. It's so true. well done to you. Thank and, you. Um, in all sense and purposes, uh, you did as you were told and um, you've produced some really good artifacts, eh? Thank you. Well Wonderful. done. Thank you. That's high praise. So. so thanks for coming. And yeah. um, stick with these guys because they've got good minds. See you next time.
if Customs tries to take this from me, I have two words for them, both in ancient Greek. Molon Labe. Come and take it. You know, I'm tempted to inscribe Molon Labe on it. That would be really cool.